out to another tutorial. In this video we're gonna be looking at 5AM by David Gilmour. It's not one of the harder Gilmour solos per se, but it's a great way to get into David Gilmour style, you know? So good pick by my patrons on this one. And if you wanna access the tones and tabs and backing tracks and everything, just check out my Patreon. It's like a bargain for 5 bucks. I highly recommend you check it out. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be mixing the studio version and Pompeii version, actually. It's not gonna be note for note, but you should follow the tabs and just uh, follow the tutorial too, of course, and just come up with some of your riffs and licks too. Okay, for the first part we're gonna start on the 15 and we're gonna bend it for a full step. And give it a little bit better. And after this release, you're gonna pull off to the 12, okay? You're gonna do something like this. Then... We're gonna do a big bend here. Bend the 15. On the third pick... Give it a little rubato. And then... You're gonna do a two full step bends here. But, I recommend you don't pick the second bend. You see? It'll be a little more fluid, you know? Now, we're just gonna slide to the ninth on D. Do something like this. Don't forget to vibrato. This is a great way to learn vibrato. At least David Gilmour style vibrato. You can do something like this, okay? You can do something like this. Let's play this. Wow. 
what I do here is just on the second and third. Okay. Okay. It's great to mute the G string after you're done with it. Something like this. Okay. I mute it with my pointy finger. Okay. Now we're just gonna slide it again. And without the new bar, you're gonna do. You're just gonna rake to the 15th on the high E. And then on the 14th. Then slide down. Okay, now you're gonna do a pre band and then bend again. Then we do the exact same thing that we did before. Okay. Don't forget to mute the G string again when you're done with it. Now We're gonna do something like this. What I do here is just rake to the 12 on high E and then pick the 14, okay? But you're gonna bend like a half step, okay? And then do something like this, okay? Okay? And after this, you're gonna be picking the 12, 15, and then bend the 14 on G, okay? And then release. Now we're just gonna pick the 15 and give it a little bit of the... You hear this? Give it a little half bendy stuff, but you're gonna be very quick with it. It's gonna sound like this. You hear this? Okay. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna land on the 15 and give it a little rubato. Okay, let's play the sequence. Okay, now we're gonna do the same bending, uh, quick bending thing on again. We're gonna do something like this, okay? Now, 15, 15 to 17. And bend it full step. Okay. Okay, very easy stuff. This is just. What a perfect song, you know, perfect song to enter to an album. Let's play the sequence again. Now... Okay, what I do here is, is just pick the 12 and mute it and bend the 15 on high and then Awesome, simple. Let's play the part one from start and then move on to the second part, okay?
now we're gonna slide to the ninth again on the D. We're gonna do something like this. But I recommend just like like you don't have to land on the ninth, okay? Okay, you hear this? Okay, now... This part is a little tricky, I admit. You're gonna slide to the ninth on a G. You're gonna bend the tenth. But, you're gonna use your pinky here. Okay? 10, 7, 10. Okay? Okay, now... We did something like this at the beginning, you remember? But now we're gonna pick the 12 here. Okay. You're gonna be pulling off to the 12th again. Now a big band here is coming. Okay. Full step band, release, and then uh, two full step bands. Okay, now a cool sequence. You're gonna do something like this. Let's play this to this part. Now, I'm just gonna rate to the 12 and then hammer on to the 15. You see this? Pick the 14. Okay, just like any color you like. You see? Again. Now, I'm just gonna pick the 12. Okay. I recommend you just bend here just a little. You see? And then 11 to 12, 9 to 11, and then 7 to 9. And give it a little vibrato. Let's play to this part. Okay, now we're getting a little hopeful. You're gonna slide to the ninth. And then seven, nine to twelve. Okay, now you're just gonna slide to the fourteen. You're gonna do something like this, okay? You hear this? See this pattern? Okay, you hear this? After this, you're gonna do something like this. Okay, never on the 14 on high E, but there's this Gilmore bent here. Okay, not like you're not gonna be fast here. You're gonna be like pick and then wait and then do a half step bend. Okay. Okay. Now we're just gonna rake the following three notes 15, 17, and 19. Okay. So before we continue, let's play the, this sequence again. Okay, now the new part. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now. Now the rigs. A half step bent here. Okay. Both on the 15. Okay, now we're just gonna bend that 19 again. But the second time around, we're just gonna use the 15 and 12, okay? Okay. You don't have to rake here, of course. We're gonna do something like this. So let's play this part again. Now, we're on the 8th here, or 12th, but I recommend 8th. We're gonna do something like this. Okay, bend it. Like you hear this? After this, you're gonna do a pull-off here. And then something like this. Awesome. This is not as complicated as it looks. Uh, just play this a couple of times, just get my tabs and backing track and tone actually with this awesome sustain. You're gonna do just fine. Let's play second part again and then move on to the final part, okay? Okay, part 3 is very short actually. You're gonna play G note here, or don't play this, <laughs> or you can play here too. Or what I recommend is here. Pattern it will be exactly like this, okay? Just play with me, I'm gonna play slow. But you're not gonna be aggressive, you're gonna pick very light. This is, by the way, just G. 7th, uh, 8th and 7th, okay? Okay, now... What I do here is just complete improvisation. You can play however you like, if you're interested. Just fill in the blanks, okay? Now... Actually, David Kimura plays like this, but I think I played somewhat different. You're just gonna pick a mute. You can play something like this too, okay? It's all up to you. Just check out the tabs below if you're struggling, but uh, very easy to improvise here, okay? You can play something like this.
Okay. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I appreciate some love on Patreon. I've passed 200 patrons and I'm really happy and I thank everyone there. And of course, I thank every one of you too. The archive for backing tracks, tabs, tone guides. I mean, it's getting bigger every day. There is no way you can't benefit from the page. I recommend you check it out. Don't forget to watch the next tutorial. I'll see you guys again in the next video.